Hey what's up everyone and welcome to Daily Code Buffer. In this video we are going to learn about the rag that is retrieval augmented reality. So in this video we are going to see what is rag, why we should use rag and what are the advantages of using rag and how we can use rag with our LLM models and what is the advantages it gives us to use the rag with our LLM models. So before understanding rag, let's understand what currently and how we currently use the LLM models, AI models to retrieve the data or generate the data using the Gen AI. So currently what we do is we use any of the existing LLM models. So let me just take the example of the open AI's model. So if I just say this is an LLM model, so what we do is there is a model, okay? This is an LLM model which has all the data to it, okay? And for all this data, what we do is there are some different ways that we can use this data. This has been trained using the sets of data, okay? Now, if I want to use the data, what is there? There is an API available, okay? Any sorts of API where you, I can call this LLM model with a bunch of queries or prompt. Once I give the prompt and then this LLM model will give me the data that for this prompt, this is the output or this is the generated output based on the training or based on the data this LLM model has. This is what it does. Okay. Now what happens is this particular LLM model is been trained for the general purpose data, right? For all the generic purpose, this model has been trained. But suppose if you want to work with any specific sets of data, suppose you want to work with the logistic, you want to work with the hospitals data, right? So at that time, this LLM model will give you the generic data, which is not useful. And it also happened that that particular data is not useful. It's not accurate and it is not backed with the proper sources as well. When you are also using the open AI chat GPT at the time you might have seen that you are getting a stale data, old data, right? You are not getting the exact new data because the LLM models are trained based on some dates and parameters. So it happens that your uh, LLM model has been trained till this June month. Everything happens after June month. There is no new information available. That new information needs to be added. Your model needs to be trained with those new information as well. So those things can happen and it is not up to date with the current data. So at this point of time to solve these issues, to make sure that you are having the accurate data, to make sure that you are having the proper data with the proper sources and also to get the proper data based on the context that you provide, based on the knowledge that you provide. At that time, this feature RAG comes into picture. RAG is known as retrieval augmented generation. Retrieval augmented generation. So currently we talked about generation part where currently whatever the LLM data that we are getting, that is what we are currently doing. But the retrieval augmented is something new that we can use or we can enhance our current existing pipeline to make sure that we are getting data as per our context. So this was the basics about the LLM and the RAG, but now let's understand why we should use it. We already have touch point couple of points, but let's understand more. So generally what happens is whenever you are using the LLM model, what will happen is your LLM model is an out of date model, maybe couple of months or three months or quarter, whatever it is, right? Your model needs to be trained every time. Okay, for all the new data. But by using the RAG, what will happen is RAG will be your source of truth, source of information for what the context that you want to provide or what the actual data that you need to provide. So your system will take that input, whatever the input you're giving is, right? Suppose you just want to know that what is the T20 World Cup details currently and who won the T20 World Cup? Yeah, India won the World Cup. Yes. So that information currently your model may not have because your model is not trained with that data. Correct. So what you can do is you can have the RAG model, right? Where all the informations about your current cups going on, current uh, series going on for cricket and that information you pass along as a context to the LLM model and then LLM model with those data can understand, okay, what is happening? What is the new data? And accordingly, the data will be passed to the output. Okay. So that means you will always get the latest information and the correct information. Also, sometimes what happens is that if the LLM model doesn't know about the answer, it will give a wrong answer or it will interpret that as a correct answer and it will share the wrong data without any proper justification or without any proper references or proofs. 
but with the actual RAG model, what you can do is you can always provide the sources and based on that sources, LL model can respond to your data. So you always know that what is the source of truth for your data. So you, it will increase the authenticity of the data as well, whatever the output is generated. Also one more thing we will get the advantages is that why we should use the RAG model is sometimes LL model will give you the incorrect data. If it doesn't know also, it will give you the data, okay, which may not be correct. But with the proper sources, as we mentioned earlier, that based on the proper sources, if we give, then LL model will understand that, okay, this is not the context that I have. So that means I do not have the actual data. So it can tell that, okay, I do not have data for it. So it is much better than feeding you the wrong information. Okay. These are the few reasons that we should use or why the RAG is particularly helpful in using the LLM models and creating your generative AI applications. Now let's understand what are the benefits of using the RAG model here. So one of the first advantages I can see is the current information. So I will always get the current information while using the RAG model alongside the LLM. So what will happen is I have the source of truth information available using the RAG and using that RAG context, whatever the data I'm providing, whatever the queries plus prompt I'm providing to the LL model, I'll always get the correct data, right? Because I am giving the source of truth information rather than just relying on the older data. The next advantage is, is the enhanced user trust. Okay. So with LLM, as we know that whenever we are using the chat GPT or any models, we tend to get the wrong information, right? Without any source or proofs. But with this RAG information, as we are giving the context, we are giving the sources, it will help the user to understand, okay, from where the data is coming, we will get the references as well. And that will enhance the trust of the user while using this model, using this generative AI model for your application. It will also increase the developer control because now developer has the advantages of using the RAG model, RAG model to have the context set properly, right? So because if I'm just using the LLM model directly, what will happen is I have the general data available there. I do not have the proper control, how the data is going to look like, how the data is going to retrieve. But if I am adding a layer in between as a rag, so I know the context, whatever I'm providing, I have everything as a setup context and that will give a better control how the data is being processed correctly and how the data is being retrieved and processed correctly according to the context provided. So it will enhance the developer control for your application as well. It will also improve the cost effectiveness in your organization because creating an LLM model and training an LLM model is highly expensive. So what you can do is we can use the existing LLM model plus with the RAG model in built with it, what it will do is it will reduce a cost drastically because we just need to give the context on the already train, trained model. So your existing model will understand the context of what you are trying to do. Maybe it would be your sports application. Maybe it would be your hospital application, your uh, remote diagnostic and monitoring, whatever the application that you are building, your model, whatever you're using will have now context with the rag in between. Okay. So this rag will always help to reduce the cost give the context so you do not have to build your own models whenever you are working on the application. So these are the few advantages and benefits that I can see using the RAG model with your LLM generative AI applications. Now let's understand how we can build this and what are the different ways that we can build this RAG model. So what will happen is when you want to generate your RAG or your entire application that has the RAG initiative. Okay. So what you have to do is you have to build the sources first, right? You have to build your external data. So first what you do is you build your external data. Okay. So suppose I'm just mentioning here, this is your external data. Okay. So to build your external data, there are different ways that you can use. You can use any file system, any database system, your CSV files, whatever. Generally vector database has been used in RAG models because LLM model will also understand it better when you're using the vector databases. We will talk about in detail about the vector databases and how to use vector databases in your AI application. But generally to start with vector databases has been used for your external data for your generative AI application. So suppose you have just built your external data where all your context has been set. Okay. So now what you generally do is you already have the application available, right? From the application, what you do is you pass the query or I can say prompt, right? Now your query and your prompt has been passed to your application, your backend system. 
right where all the system, all the things will happen so this prompt and query will be taken here as an input and what it will do is it will have to get the relevancy of the query and prompt so before using rag what you could have done is you could have directly took taken this prompt and query and you can directly execute the LLM so suppose I have the LLM model here you could have directly executed the query and whatever the output you got you would have taken from here right so it will be output here and this prompt and query would have taken here prompt plus query so you would have directly passed the prompt and query to your LLM model and LLM model whatever it gives as an output it will be sent as an output and you can you could have directly used it right so now I have to set the context as well I have to use the rag in between so what I can do is I can have the relevancy system here okay where I can pass this prompt and query to my relevant system okay where this prompt and query will be passed to my external data to get the relevance data about the context and everything this data will be passed along here and now the query will be added here so now the data will be look like your prompt plus query plus your relevant data or your context okay so you can see that now your relevant data and context has been added based on your relevancy system and your external data so that means now I have added a complete context using the rag model now my query is something that looks very much better rather than the previous just query generic query now I have what is my prompt what is my query and what is the entire relevant data around that set so with this information LLM can understand okay what is the relevancy of the data what is the new data available and accordingly the output will be generated so this output will be much better much refined and much accurate than the existing LLM models so this entire rag system will work in such a way that your context will always be better when you are directly executing a query rather than this system. So this is all about how you can do the external data setup about the new context settings and what you can do is you can always update your external data. You do not have to train your model always. Your external data will always have the latest information and based on that latest information your relevancy checks, your relevant context will be set and you will get the accurate output from the LLM model. So this was all about the basics of RAG which is a retrieval augmented generation. What you can do is you can explore more about the RAG. You can go through a bunch of different blogs available. There are a lot of details available about this RAG. This is the one of the ways that you can improve your LLM model and the relevancy of your LLM models. So if you have any doubts regarding any of the things that we have covered then do let me know in the comment section below. We will try to build the application using the RAG using the Spring AI and vector database in the upcoming videos so stay tuned for that as well and make sure that you subscribe to the channel so you're notified about all these new videos so if you like this video give us a thumbs up and i will see you in the next video till then happy coding bye bye